Good morning. It's 7 o'clock. I don't know. What do you want to do today? I don't know. What do you want to do today? Weekends don't count. Coffee is on. We're going to Pops in the Park. Whoa! Dude, are you okay? Totally. I'm sorry. It must be the pressure of entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> the plan for the day is to head on up to Dublin. Pups in the Park is in Marley Park. It is a festival for dogs and for dog owners so that you can meet, go meet new friends, but also get your dog socialised. There's lots of prizes, lots of stuff on. And I meet my friend Grace up there, so I'm really excited to do that. And it's just these exciting dog things that you can do in Ireland. And it doesn't cost an arm and a leg. The tickets were 19 euro. You're right there, bud. Let's go. So, of course, we get in the car and it starts lashing rain. Ugh, so annoying. Hopefully, it'll be good weather in Dublin. So, let's get going. We are actually going to get soaked. The weather is so bad. And it's probably bad all day. Thank God I brought the heavy rain jacket. I just found out that Prince Charles... Prince Andrew. ...might be in charge of the Queen's Corgis. I actually want to drive to England right now and ride it. I think I will. So we've arrived. It's lashing. It doesn't matter. It's fine. And there was no signs to tell us where to go, so we're just kind of walking around Marley Park, which is a nice walk anyway, so it's fine. Um, see how we get on. <laughs> what a fail. After an hour, I'm coming back. The storm's coming. Okay, what a f mess this is. Oh, I am drenched. He is drenched. I can't see out my glasses. Always bring towels, ladies and gents. My shoes are destroyed. I'm gonna have to drive home barefoot. Now, this is not a representation of what Pups in the Park is. Pups in the Park was fantastic. Where are the keys? Where are the keys? Where are the keys? Where are the keys? <laughs> In the end, I didn't even get to meet Grace, which is really sad because she was coming and it was just like, I was wearing a waterproof and I'm, I'm literally, it's just destroyed. I can't even stop on the way home now because it's so bad. Anyway, we won't worry. It was a great experience. It was just a washout and pups in the park. I would highly recommend you do it because it was brilliant. So we're on our way home, but first, Hi, can I get a caramel? You hardly thought we were going to come here and not get coffee. Really? Coffee? Go. <sighs> Back home. Absolutely soaked. Albert dried in the car. I'm dreading to smell the car after. Don't tell my sister. I'm going to use her makeup wipes. Keep forgetting Maria is super into facial care. And has nothing. <laughs> So today has been a bit of a fail on the recording front. I haven't done much and that's okay. It's not my fault. It's not anyone's fault that I didn't record much, but I still have. I've started the video now. It takes me ages to do these videos. So it's a week of my life. Yay! Isn't this the cutest little tote bag I've ever seen in my life? It's from Wild Tales. They're an Irish company for dog harnesses. And if you look at my Instagram, you'll see the dog harnesses as well. But we're going to pack for tomorrow. I have a gig, so I have to get ready for that. So I need to pack my gear. I kind of feel a bit like I just don't want to go. I don't want to do any gigs, but yeah, here we go. <laughs> Come on, buddy. I want to go home. Come on, pal. Just dropped, Albert. Good morning. Sorry. Should have started with good morning. It's Monday. Just dropped Albert to doggy daycare. What a disastrous morning it's been. That back to work feel is in. I had to be dragged out of bed this morning. Um, and I forgot my coffee. Forgot my lunch. I have no word of a lie, guys. I have 50 euro to my name. Hey, you all drive on, please, because I need coffee.
You don't need coffee. Yes, I do. This is future Katie talking. I had it all recorded in, in the moment, but the clips weren't saving. So it turns out that that day I had to actually go to the doctor. I was very unwell and I was then put on 10 days of sick leave. So these next few clips that you're seeing are the clips that I have been at home I hate being out of work and you're going to see that in the further on clips as well. I hate being out of work. So to do this video is actually a great relief for me. But I do like being busy and I do like working. I don't like sitting at home and doing nothing. That's why I continued with this video because it just gave me some form of purpose in the week when everyone else has gone to work or to school or to doggy daycare. So, yeah. So we're at the gig. Um, yeah, tell you how we get home. <sighs> Finally home and after such a crap day, even though I know I didn't explain it, it's been so nice to just have a really good experience with music this evening. I was in the Brady sessions in Turin Yor and it was brilliant. It was nice to drive up with mom, have a good chat with her after the day, feel good. I it's, think it's inspired me to spend the next 10 days that I've had the medical cert to write music and try to write music. So tomorrow, the plan is gym, try and write some stuff and get some vlogs done and record a podcast. I want to try and get things done and keep busy, especially for the next few days because Albert's going to be in doggy daycare. So here's hoping. Okay, good night. Possible to get a place to park in the gym. I feel like I'm going to use it as an excuse and then to go. Just feel, feel tired. Force myself, I'm turning around, I'm going back. I need to go to the gym. Okay, just go to the gym. Just go. I went and I bought, oh my god, my eye makeup from yesterday. Ew. I bought parking inside, underground. Very good, very nice. Very good. Get out and go to the gym. <laughs> should or would take exercise advice from me i did leg day today more of kind of a like get up out of the weekend crack because obviously the last time i was in was thursday so ignore my sweaty face i follow nourish move love who is a fantastic american woman and she puts up a load of free classes like absolutely free amazing she does youtube tutorials on it like pure full youtube classes and then puts it in bite size what you have to do and everything on instagram so nourish move love she's amazing all right there's a lot of stuff i need to do before i even have my shower let's go team Woo! looking at them they didn't consider that some girls would be shopping in curve but don't have the boobs of curve i'm someone who does not have the boobs of curve but yeah there's some great pieces here underneath all this i feel really bad because like this is such a waste of plastic and cardboard it's really important that i clear out some clothes here now because there is no space in this little house for all these amount of clothes one bag of clothes cleared out but if i go for more how do i get any of the work done so, one bag is enough for now. I'm just going to move the clothes a little bit. This is my bag. Tell me when you're leaving So I can watch you go Arrived. I was told nothing. I'm just here to use my Wi Fi. Hi, how are you? Wednesday, dog's been dropped to school. Crash. <laughs> Got coffee. Just woke up this morning and I just had this impact, like this horrible feeling in the bottom of my stomach. I'm a real workaholic. I hate this sitting around crack. And I think yesterday it was fun and grand because Maria was off, so and I had lots of cleaning to do. And I knew it. Well. I was like, don't do everything on that list, but I did. All the pressing things, anyway. The recording, the vlogs, and stuff I'll do later. I just don't really have any energy today, and I think I need to listen to my body. I want to work on. 
just mindfulness today and just being just doing gentle things today i think i'm just gonna read for a while side note i made a plan to myself back when game of thrones was actually starting i said to myself i was not going to watch any of the television programs until i read the books and i read the first book cover to cover straight through and then i read the second one halfway through and then i gave up and then i tried it from the start again until the halfway through and I gave up again. This is my third time trying to read the second book. I kind of picked up in the middle where I left off last, so I'm kind of trying to grasp what's going on, but missing certain parts. Like I can remember bits, but I'm missing certain parts as well. So I really, really want to read the books though, because the House of Dragon looks so good. Okay, so nothing's really changed. It's the same layout as the last few days. I went to the gym. I think I'm going to pay a few house calls now. And um, before anyone says anything, there's absolutely nobody in this um, changing room. I checked, so I'm not infringing on anyone's privacy. Whoa! It's payday! And do you think I have any money? No, I don't. No sooner had the money come into my account, it is gone from my account. Sofa is fully paid off. Petrol is in my car. Groceries are bought for the week ahead. Money has been taken out for the doggy daycare next week. Well done, Katie. That's it. That's my day. Okay, bye. Okay, it's not all gloomy in the garden, really. I'm so Okay, so, long, long time ago, I had put in an astronomical amount of money into a company who were going to bring me to New Zealand for a working holiday. I said, spend all this money, but I couldn't go at the time because obviously I had Albert and New Zealand was too far for me mentally that for the summer. So I changed my mind and I said, look, I don't want to go this year. And they're like, Gran, was, we can hold the money for five years. So on the heel of the reel anyway, I'm coming up near that five year mark. I was like, I have to use this money somehow. So I go, I look again, I see, is there any type of offer on there now that would suit me and that I would like? And I see that there is a course to learn Italian in Bologna. I've already tried the teaching in Italy and I loved it, but I would love to be on the other side and to be the student for a while and not have to work. So it's been confirmed in June, I will be going to Bologna for four weeks to learn Italian. Yeah. And then hopefully the plan will be in July, take up my work with Educo and work maybe four weeks with them. And then hopefully by August, I'll have a permanent job in Italy that I can live forever and never come home. Ever. <laughs> exciting isn't it that's exciting a great end to a week by the way if anyone's wondering if i feel the effects of the gym this week i only felt it today and i can't sit down we're so i'm just between saturday morning lessons and they're going well albert is being a great practice tracker he's very good at telling which child to practice and which child isn't all right, Bert. But yeah, it's pretty much all today's plan. So let me help you. We can follow the sun and leave the rain for somebody else. Let's help ourselves.